You are watching Vanquish Gaming. This is our VGL 2v2 Season 1. This is Week 5 action. And this is Game 2 between Dude from Brazil and Cello, our undefeated Zerg team, versus B Nasty and his partner Diener. In Game 1, we saw B Nasty attempt a fast carrier build, which would have possibly been very successful had he not jumped the gun and used it uh, too early to attack a scout. Thus tipping his hat and allowing uh, Dude from Brazil and Cello to have just enough time to fight it off and eventually uh, starve them to death in what turned out to be a much longer game than it should have been. Uh, our second map here is Ruins of Tarsonis, selected by Diener and Be Nasty. Uh, Ruins of Tarsonis, of course, a wonderful map for both Zerg and for fast attack rushers such as Diener and B. So both teams here are pretty much at equal strength on this map. A uh, very interesting choice. We'll have to see if... Uh, if uh, Diener and B Nasty attempt to do another rush, and uh, what Dude from Brazil and Cello will possibly have to do to counter it. Uh, in the last game, we saw Cello and Dude from Brazil go for very fast pools, very fast one base unit builds to try and counter any kind of fast rushes, basically preparing for a seven minute attack. It looks like they may be following suit again this time. We do see Diener walling off here, and we do see a gateway coming down for B Nasty, opting not to help Diener in walling this off. Uh, we do not, however, see the dual gas from B Nasty as we saw the first time, so he may be going for a more traditional build here. Uh, Diener and B Nasty, of course, looking for a win. They've had a nice back and forth season here. They are still in contention for a playoff spot as we are only in mid season, but they obviously need to get some more wins here under the belt as their uh, record is a little too 50 50 and. Um, you know, they're relying a, a little too much on other teams to handle their destiny here. You see Dude from Brazil sending out a scout, and he is going to go ahead and try to harass this wall here. Didn't work out too well for him last time. And uh, we do see another worker coming in here to back up his comrade. And uh, two gateways going down. This is indicative of a possible early Zealot build. Uh, Dude from Brazil, of course, is going to go ahead and try to take down the nice thousand hit point gateway. A great use of a drone. Uh, of course, at this point, just trying to be as annoying as possible. We saw him doing lots and lots of back-to-back -back extractor builds to keep that drone alive in the first game. Uh, some definite excellent micro there from him. Go ahead and take a look at the production tab. We'll see a Roach Warren coming down for Dude from Brazil as well as Cello. This is very closely mimicking their build from last game. If this is the case, they will be going for an early 7-minute attack. And we do see an early zealot out kind of chipping away at dude from Brazil's extractor here. We'll have to see if he cancels it or not. It looks like he will let it stand. And uh, that will meet a death from a zealot. And we do also see a command center uh, transforming here into an orbital command. And some marines on the wrong side of the wall, as well as, a, as an idle worker here. And uh, if we go ahead and back, take a look at the Zerg bases, we'll see uh, Roach Warrens underway, as well as two Spine Crawlers from Dude from Brazil. This, uh, this uh, basically showing that he's not looking to do too much of early Roach units. He wants to drone up a little bit longer. He's going to go ahead and use these uh, these Spine Crawlers here to try and uh, early defend any kind of attack. We do see a handful of Zealots on the map. Let's take a look at the unit tab. See four Zealots and six Marines to a single Roach and uh, two queens, so uh, definitely two roaches now. Definitely, um, we see two more roaches and a spine crawler coming in for Cello as well. Uh, definitely some early, early builds on both hands, and we see these units rolling out now. Uh, so that will give us a total of eight marines and six zealots. Uh, this could definitely work in their favor. They want to keep these marines behind the zealots to try and protect them, use those zealots as an early meat shield as much as possible. Also want to avoid detection so that they can try to hit them uh, at their base and try to keep the fight as close as possible to them. And we do see them microing these marines behind these zealots. Excellent choice there, and they will be detected shortly by Cello's, uh, um Overlord here. And we do see a lot of roaches, though. This is definitely not looking good. Uh, these roaches, they're going to want to try to engage these as quickly as possible. These marines are going to do most of the fighting. That one spine crawler might be Cello's saving grace. Uh, unfortunately, they are kind of sandwiched here between these two spine crawlers. They need to try and engage these roaches, not back off. And they, they, their indecisiveness here on who to attack is going to be their undoing. They're unnecessarily engaging more units than they need to. These marines, unfortunately, are going to be picked off by those roaches. These spine crawlers will make quick work of those zealots. And that early attack was just, unfortunately, a little mishandled. As they should have just kept the pressure on Cello, who was the weaker target, tried to micro around this lone spine crawler. They could have very easily dispatched those roaches. Now we do see a counterattack coming in here with a handful of zerglings and a Lyot 
Um, that layout, of course, accidentally grabbed by me. And uh, we do see a, uh, a small batch of units here moving. Unfortunately, they are going to be needed over here. The wall is down. This is not good at all. And we see the units rushing in here. Will they get these roaches in before Dina realizes that he's left this wall down? He needs to get that wall up as quickly as possible. No, he does not. He leaves the wall down. A fatal mistake as he lets these roaches go into the base. This is not good at all. Meanwhile, we do see these two zealots with no help from these marines. Uh, this is just some miscoordinations here going on. And these roaches, of course, getting access unnecessarily to these probes as these doors were left down by Diener. An unfortunate mistake on his part. Probes going into battle is never a good sign. This is looking very bad indeed. Dean Nasty is losing his entire economy as we watch his drone count drop to zero. This is absolutely devastating. This is not at all what they needed to do. They completely mishandled that attack going in. Uh, they should have stayed persistent on their first target. We've seen expansion coming down from Duke from Brazil. He realizes this is definitely going to cripple them. Uh, Diener, unfortunately, did not raise those doors, allowing that attack to completely steamroll uh, all both of their economies at this point. And there's the GG from Diener. And what started off as an early attack became an early defeat. And Dude from Brazil and Cello will stay perfect as they have once again uh, defeated their opponents for the week and uh, remain the only undefeated team uh, in the VGL. And we'll have to see what, uh, what, is, what stays in, sto in store for them in week six, but at this point, everyone's gotta be wondering, can this team be beaten? Obviously, this was not their greatest challenge. Uh, Diener and Be Nasty, by all accounts, beat themselves in both of these games. Um, but they, they did have a chance, at least in the first game, to possibly pull off an upset victory. Uh, this second game, even if they would have stayed persistent on Cello's base, uh, it would have been very close to see how much damage they would have caused. It definitely would have won the game with that, but um, they would have at least done some serious damage to Cello, possibly slowed them down, but just some very simple mistakes in both games costing them uh, the possibility of victory, especially in that first game, just tipping the hand a little too early for those fast carriers. So we'll have to see how both of these teams uh, uh, you know, respond to this in week six. Will do from Brazil and Celo stay perfect? Will Diener and be nasty continue their struggle for that final playoff spot?